Here is actually Bluey's sister. And Bluey's sister's name is literally Bingo. Oh Bingo was her name -o. <laughs> And then this is Bluey and Bingo's mom. And her name is Chili. Wow. And oh my goodness, guys. This video has 71 million views. That's a lot of millions. Let's go ahead and watch it for ourselves. And we're going to be watching the Magic Asparagus episode. And let's see what happens. Let's do this. Hit and play. And oh yeah, they're dancing. Oh Fire. yeah. Yo, see, that's their mom. Yeah. See, yo, that's the dad, which is Bandit. Bingo. And Bingo, just like I said, Bingo was her name. Oh. And this is obviously Bluey. Yeah. Oh, you're literally eating asparagus. Oh. Guys, I don't like asparagus oh. or broccoli. Oh. Ew. Why do we have to have manners? Because we're not animals. Wait, they are animals, though. Oh. Oh. Bluey, take this, some magic asparagus. Wait. It turns people into any animal you want. No way. Oh. Wait, you can turn anybody into any animal using that asparagus? Oh, oh my god! Oh. Whoa, is he a donkey? I want to be a pig. Oh my gosh, Bingo literally just turned into a pig. Oh. She just turned into a chicken. Guys, I have chickens. Oh my gosh. They're all acting like different animals. The dad just turned into an elephant. Oh, oh snap, she literally just broke into the cabinet and there's chips on the ground. And wait a minute, I've actually got a genius idea. After seeing those chips, that's making me super hungry. Like, listen to my stomach. So since we're watching a TV show right now, I'm literally gonna go make some popcorn that we can watch the show with. Come on. So I started hopping into the kitchen like I was a bunny rabbit. Welcome to the kitchen. So the first item on our list is that we're gonna need a pot, we're gonna need a lid, we're gonna need popcorn kernels, and we're gonna need a measuring cup. So we need to find all of these items in my kitchen, and I'm gonna set a timer for 30 seconds, and let's see if I can do it in under 30 seconds. Wish me luck in the comments down below, and I'm gonna start the timer right now, my dudes. My dudes. Oh my gosh, it's starting up. Oh, oh, I need a pot. Oh, oh we got a pot. Alright. Oh, I need a lid. Oh, no way. We got a lid. Oh, guys, we're doing super well. We still got 15 seconds. Oh, popcorn kernels. Oh, 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 I got some popcorn kernels. No way. Oh, and the measuring cup's already here. Guys, I still have five seconds left. I'm so fast like the Flash. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No way, guys. I actually lose because I forgot one ingredient. They needed this oil right here. Dang it. So the first thing we gotta start with is some oil. Let's dump some of this in. Wow. Right, let's swoosh it around some. Oh then let's turn on the stove. And now we're gonna throw two, like one, two kernels inside of the oil. And we gotta wait for them to pop really quick. So I just casually stood there waiting for the kernels to start popping. A few moments later. The kernels were taking so long that I fell asleep, but then all of a sudden one of them popped. <laughs> One of them popped. Oh no, it's gonna wait on the other one. Hurry up, buddy, you can do it. I believe in you. Come on, man. Yes, the other one popped too. All right, guys, now we need to throw in the other kernels. 
balls. All right, let's take off the lid. Now we need to measure out using our measuring cup. We need to get half a cup of this. Ooh, let's dump them in the pan. Ooh, now we gotta put on the lid and shake it around and just wait for them to start popping. So yeah, we gotta start waiting again. No! Two hours later. Guys, look, they're starting to pop. They're literally all popping right now. Like we're literally making popcorn. Yeah, let's go. Now we can eat this popcorn and watch it bluey. Oh my goodness, there's so much. It might fill up this whole pan. Maybe I should have used a bigger one. No way, guys. It's so much popcorn. Wow. Oh my goodness, guys. Look how beautiful and luxurious that popcorn looks. Oh, it looks so beautiful. It say what? Oh my gosh. That's literally Bingo and Bluey out there in my driveway. And they're literally talking to each other right now. And now they're literally sitting on the ground and they're like howling. And no way. Bluey literally just rolled up Bingo and then washed her in the outer space. And now they're both gone. Oh my gosh. Bluey literally just attacked Bingo. No. I was literally just making popcorn to go watch their TV show. The see of Bluey was really nice. And now she just absolutely demolished her sister. So Bluey must not be really nice. Oh. We gotta go out there right now to see what's going on. Oh, we can eat this beautiful popcorn later. Let's go out there. Come on. So I started running out there as fast as I could. All right, guys. I'm in my garage right now. And we're gonna open up the garage door. And this is like right around where Bluey and Bingo were just at. So maybe they're on the other side. Let's open it up right now and see. I gotta press the button here we go the door's opening up oh my God. <sighs> i don't see anybody all right i'm gonna go out here now guys and hopefully bluey isn't out there waiting to ambush me and he absolutely demolishes me as well it's a good thing i got no fear i'm going out there let's do it let's do this so i walked out of the garage door and saw something oh. Oh my gosh, Bluey, what do you want? So Bluey was just casually dancing and then he started spinning super fast and he turned into a tornado and he knocked me onto the ground and then he flew away. And I was just laying there passed out on the ground. Oh snap. 3.28 a.m. Um, guys, it's currently nighttime outside right now and I literally have no idea where Torg is. Like the last time I saw him, he was literally making popcorn and like all of it is still right here in the pan. So I gotta hurry up and search around to try to find- Oh my gosh! Guys, no way! Torg's literally outside laying down on the ground! And it literally appears that he's knocked out right now! I gotta hurry up and head out there and save him, guys! He's literally just right out here! Oh my gosh, Torg, get up! Are you okay? What the heck? Oh, how long was I down here for, guys? It's literally dark outside! I can't believe this! I don't know if you guys sold out my security camera or not, but Bluey literally was standing right out here in my yard! And he was, like, out here dancing and stuff! What? Whenever all of a sudden he started spinning super fast! And he, like, literally attacked me and absolutely demolished me! And I was passed out on the ground for a long time! Oh, I'm toying your hair! Looks like it got hit by a tornado. What? Random stuff, you stupid idiot. That's because my hair did get hit by a tornado. Like, that's what Bluey did. He literally spun so fast, my dude, that he literally turned into a tornado. And it threw me to the ground. Guys, I don't want to be out here anymore in case Bluey's still outside. Let's hurry up and close the garage door so he can't get in my house. I'm going to close the door and hopefully Bluey doesn't try to run inside. It looks like we're good. Let's get inside the house. Yes, I successfully made it back in my home without getting attacked again. Let's go, baby. Yeah, baby. You say what? It's I almost forgot about my popcorn. Okay, I'm going to go eat some of this. And I'm going to try to relax and recover from the trauma that I just went through because of Bluey. Let's watch some of it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's still, like, different animals. You're stupid. Oh, what kind of animal is the dad now? I don't know what kind of animal that was. Oh, my gosh, guys. That is super crazy. I'm gonna try to eat some of this popcorn. This is so good, guys. I'm literally a professional cooker. Guys, somebody's singing. Oh, it looks like it's their neighbors. Hey, and guys, this guy stinks at singing. Hey, wait a minute. What the heck? Guys, did you just hear that? It literally sounds like somebody's knocking on my door right now. What if it's Bluey? I'm super scared. I don't want to get knocked out by a tornado again. 
in there, guys. Let's go open up the door and see what it is. Guys, I don't hear the knocking anymore. But it sounds like it was coming from this door right here. And say what? There's legitimately something in my window. It looks like it's some sort of note or something. Let's go ahead and read it to see what it says. This note that we just randomly found in our window says, Fly your drone tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. Guys, apparently whoever was just knocking on my door like 3.2. 935 seconds ago legitimately left me this new and they want me to fly my drone tomorrow yeah. guys it must have been bluey that left us that no i wonder why he wants us to fly our drone tomorrow like maybe he's gonna fight somebody else again i don't know guys i'm gonna go watch some more of this show and we will see you guys tomorrow whenever we go fly the drone to see why bluey wants us to so guys i'll see you tomorrow morning peace out until then <laughs> The next day. All right, my dudes, as you can see, it's literally daylight out right now. Like, it's the next day. And, guys, I got the $1 million drone right here. And we're going to fly it up into the sky like Bluey wanted us to. And try to see why he wanted me to fly this thing up in the air. But, guys, I really don't know what we're looking for. But I guess we just need to make sure we're keeping a very good bird's eye view. Out for Bluey or anything weird that's going on out here. And say what? Speaking of birds, guys, I literally forgot to let my chickens out. No. Let's go let them out of their cage. No. Guys, look, they're literally waiting on me. Oh, no. uh, chickens, do you guys want outside of your cage? <laughs> All right, let's let them out. I'm unlocking the door right now. Oh I'm going to let the chickens out. The door won't open anymore. No. Uh, can you guys fit through there? Oh, yeah, guys, they can fit through there. Hurry up, chickens. That's a lot of chicken. Wow. Before we fly the drone up in the air to go look for Bluey, let's give the chickens some food. All right, I got their food inside of here. Chickens, you guys want some food? Oh, yeah. Here you go. <laughs> look, they really yeah. like the food. Let's see if this one will eat out of my hand. What? So I tried to get this chicken to eat out of my hand. Nope. Alright guys, it's time to get serious. I'm gonna take the drone up into the sky right now. Let's do this. Let's do this. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and send the drone up into the sky. And like I said earlier, let's keep a good bird's eye view out for Bluey. Alright guys, I'm flying the drone outside. Let's take it up in the sky some. And wow, look at my ginormous red board. Guys, I really don't know where we're gonna be looking around. Like, I guess we'll just look around my whole house because Bluey didn't say. Like, I don't know where he wants me to fly my drone to or what I'm even looking for. But I'm over my, like, entire fenced-in area right here. And wow, guys, look at all this snow we got. Like, it literally snowed a bunch this morning. We didn't have any of this last night. But guys, I'm looking around. And as you can see so far, I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary. Like, it literally just looks like my backyard. But I'm not gonna give up, guys. We're gonna continue searching around. Now, let's head over towards the road to see if we can find anything over there. Because we found a lot of characters and stuff over at this road before. I'm flying over to the road. Guys, I'm not seeing anything. Like, it doesn't look like anybody's here. I'm not seeing Bluey or anything. I guess let's fly back up towards the house. So there's my house right there, and then we're in that little barn all the way in the back. I don't know what Bluey wants us to find. Maybe we'll have to fly the drone here in a little bit. <gasps> Say what? Guys, look, that's literally Bluey. He's on my roof right now, and he's dancing again. But man, Bluey's literally got the moves like Jagger. Like, dude, He's got a swagger. What? But guys, he's literally just dancing on my roof. Oh my and I don't God. know what he's doing. This like might be what he wanted me to film. But what? why would he want me to film him dancing? This doesn't make any sense. Oh my goodness. Guys, he's legitimately gone. But it looks like there's like a piece of paper or something. Like laying on the roof right where he was just dancing at. Oh my goodness, guys. I need to go up there right now and see what that piece of paper is. Here, Rannis, if you watch the drone, I'm going to go up to the roof. And wish me luck, guys, and hopefully I don't get attacked by Bluey again. All right, guys, I'm heading out there. All right, so Torg is literally running over there right now to where Bluey was at. But unfortunately, like Torg said, Bluey is no longer on the road. But it literally appears that, like, Bluey left something up there, so Torg is currently running over there to get it right now. And I'm guessing that it's, like, some kind of note or something. Oh, guys, there Torg is right there. And no way, it literally looks like the note is about to blow off of the roof. No. Torg, you gotta hurry and get up there and get it. All right, the note is no longer blowing around everywhere and I think Tor literally sees it right now. And no way, he just picked it up. Like, he's literally holding it in his hands right now. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he actually got it, guys. Like, I literally thought it was gonna blow off of the roof. And now Torg is literally coming down the ladder and he's literally gonna run over here right now so that 
way we can figure out what that piece of paper is. But unfortunately, guys, Torque is literally like 3.6487849 kilometers away. It's going to take him so long to get over here. A few moments later. Oh my gosh, guys, look, there Torg is right there. And no way, he literally has the piece of paper. I can't believe it, I got the piece of paper and it almost blew off of the roof. Oh but God. luckily I got there in time to save it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, let's go ahead and read this to see what it says on it because it's literally some sort of note or something. All right, it says, call me. Oh and then God. it has a random phone number and it says signed by Bluey. Oh my goodness. Apparently, Bluey literally wants me to call him right now. I guess it's a good thing I got my phone right here. Let's go ahead and dial this number in and call Bluey. And see what it is that he wants from me. All right, I'm calling the number right now, my dudes. Hopefully, Bluey actually picks up. All right, it's still ringing. And say, what? Somebody just answered the phone. Hello, who is this? This is Bluey. Wait, this is Bluey? This doesn't even sound like Bluey. Are you sure? Yes, it's me. Oh, okay, what do you want from me, Bluey? I want you to order the Bluey Happy Meal at 3 a.m. You want me to order your Happy Meal at 3 a.m.? He <laughs> just hung up on me. No. Guys, Bluey literally wants me to order a Happy Meal from McDonald's at 3 a.m. Like he's literally saying that he has his own Bluey Happy Meal. This is super crazy. Like I guess I'm gonna have to order Bluey's Happy Meal now. But unfortunately, he wants me to wait until 3 a.m. And as you guys can see, it's literally daylight right now. Like it's literally the morning. No. So it's still gonna be hours until 3 a.m. No! No! Two hours later. It is almost 3 a.m. right now. So since it's almost 3 a.m. right now, I guess we need to get ready to head to McDonald's to order Bluey's Happy Meal. And see why you wanted us to order it. Now we're gonna be taking the big ginormous tour truck to McDonald's right now. And man, my dude, this thing is absolutely massive. Go smash the thumbs up button right now, though, because this thing literally cost me like a hundred thousand dollars. So I used my muscles to open up the ginormous door. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Then I started up the big tool truck and I drove it out of the barn. All right, we are on our way to McDonald's. Guys, I'm actually kind of scared because Bluey wants us to order this at like 3 a.m., which is a super weird time. <gasps> Say what? There's something out in my yard right there. It looks like it's some sort of sign or something. Look, it's right in front of us. Oh, what in the world? Somebody definitely put that there. That hasn't been there before. Come on, let's go check it out and see what this is. What the heck, guys? It's literally some sort of note or something. Like, it says something on it. And it's literally attached to this hammer right here. Yeah. And it's just standing up in my yard. Um, I guess just go ahead and read it to see what it says on it so we can hurry up and head to McDonald's. All right, this note says call McDonald's and order for delivery. Oh my goodness. I legitimately just grabbed my truck and everything. And now this note is literally telling me not to go to McDonald's and instead I need to call them. But wait a minute. Why would I call them whenever I can literally just go pick it up? And now that I think of it, I think McDonald's is actually closed right now. So I don't even think we should go there anyway. Say what? Guys, I'm legitimately getting a phone call right now. No way. It literally says it's from McDonald's. Oh, uh, I guess I'm just gonna go and answer it. Oh, uh, hello, McDonald's. I was literally about to call you guys so I could order the Bluey Happy Meal. The Bluey Happy Meal's already at your house and it's in your fridge. Wait, the Bluey Happy Meal's already at my house and it's inside of my fridge? Wait, who is this? Is this actually McDonald's? <gasps> they just hung up on me. No. Guys, I don't think that was actually McDonald's. But he literally said that the Happy Meal is inside my house in my fridge. What? How did it get inside of there? That means somebody must be inside of my house. We're gonna hurry up and go in there right now. Come on. A few moments later. Okay, I'm at my fridge right now. And guys, I actually have two fridges. Uh, so I guess we'll start with the first one right here. And see if the Happy Meal's in here. Here we go. Oh my goodness! Guys, it really is already in my refrigerator! Oh, how did it get in here, guys? I don't know, but it literally is the Bluey Happy Meal! Like, look, that's Bluey and her family right there, and it literally says Bluey! Let's open this bag! 
map where you'll have to see what's inside. Okay, we got the Happy Meal right here. I'm gonna go and unbox it. <gasps> it's opened up. Let me reach in and grab a random item. <gasps> no way. Guys, there's literally chicken McNuggets. I can't wait to eat these chicken nuggets. <gasps> Say what? No way. It's literally Bluey's mom and dad. And they ate my chicken nuggets. Yeah. This makes me so mad. Stupid Bluey's mom and dad. Yeah. Ah. I am the rain oh monster. All right, let's continue searching inside of here, though. Um, we got an empty fry box. They literally ate my french fries, too. No. Oh, it feels like we got another See? character. Oh, it's literally Bingo. Like Bingo was her name -o. What? Oh, I wonder if Bluey's in here somewhere. Say what? He is. Like, look, guys, that's literally Bluey right there. Like the person that's up on the screen. Oh, my gosh, guys. Hopefully, they didn't eat all the food inside of here. There's another fry box. And wait a minute. Guys, look at this piece of paper that just fell out of the fry box. It's literally all rolled up. Let's unroll to see what it is. Here we go. It's some sort of note or something. Oh, my goodness. And guys, look. It says, go here in the morning. And then it says chords. Like, these are coordinations. Oh Apparently, if I type in these coordinations on my computer, then it'll literally lead me to a certain address. Yes. And this note is telling me that I need to go to these coordinations in the morning. Oh I wonder what's going to be at these coordinations. But I don't know, guys. We just found all the Bluey characters inside of this Bluey Happy Meal. And now we randomly got these coordinations that we found inside of that fry box that we need to go to tomorrow. Oh so, guys, I guess we will see you tomorrow whenever we go to the computer to type in these coordinations. I'm gonna go to my bed right now and go to sleep. And we will see you guys in the morning. Peace out until then. <laughs> the next day. Alright guys, so it is now the next day and Torg is literally still asleep in his bed right now. No. And it's literally like 3 p.m. So my dudes, I, I gotta hurry up and wake him up because I really wanna figure out what those coordinates are gonna lead to. So I literally got this water bottle right here and I'm gonna go dump some of it on him right now so that way we can wake him up and get him out of his bed. Let's do this. Let's do this. Guys, that's literally Torg's bedroom right Right here, and I got the water bottle in my hand, and I'm gonna dump it on him so that way we can wake him up. Because guys, like he literally won't wake up no matter what I do. Yeah. Torg, get up! Torg, wake up! I want to go look for the coordinates. Nope. See, guys, he literally won't wake up. I'm gonna dump the water on him right now. Here I go. What the heck? Oh my gosh! Who's there? Oh, 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 it's me! What the heck? Oh, guys! It's literally random stuff! Why'd you wake me up from my beauty sleep? Because you've been asleep for like 37 hours and I want to find those coordinates! Oh, yeah, I almost forgot, guys! It's literally the next day! Look, as you can see behind me through the window, there is literally daylight right there! Wow. And, guys, I got the coordinates right here that we found inside of the half meal last night! 3 a.m. And obviously it said that we need to go to these coordinates in the morning. And so now that it's the morning, let's type in these coordinates and figure out where they lead to. I got Google Earth pulled up right here on the computer screen. And we're going to type in these coordinations right now to see where they lead to. And then we're going to follow them just like this thing wants us to. And I have no idea what we're going to find, but we literally found this inside of the Bluey Happy Meal last night. So let's not waste any more time and type in these coordinations to see where they lead to. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, we're on the computer right now, my dudes. And I got the coordinations right here. Let's go ahead and type this in and see where it leads to. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of numbers on here. Guys, it's a good thing I'm an absolute genius. I should have no problem getting all these typed in. So using my big brain, I was able to type in the coordinations. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and uh, random stuff. Where do you think this is gonna lead to? Hopefully, like, some kind of pizza restaurant. What? Imagine we found a pirate chest, and it was full of gold. Then we could buy, like, so many McDonald's Happy Meals. Oh, yeah, we could buy a lot of Happy Meals with that money. All right, I'm hitting enter right now, and let's see where this actually leads to. Here we go. Oh all right, it's zooming in on the Earth right now, like, super far. And say what? Guys, look. All I see right now is, like, a bunch of trees or something, it looks like. No. Let's zoom out and see where we even are. Okay, so I see a road right here. And, yeah, there's a bunch.
bunch of trees and stuff. Oh my gosh! This literally looks like it's my house! What? Wait, so the coordinates led to my house. The coordinates literally took us like right here. And guys, I think I know where this is at. Like this is out in our woods and there's literally like a creek right here. And the coordinates were like right around in this area. So this is like literally right in my front yard. So random stuff, we need to go out there right now and see if there's anything at these coordinations. Because this note literally wants us to go there. Let's head out there right now, my dudes. My dudes. We're heading outside right now and oh my gosh, there's literally somebody in our way. Look, it's Mrs. Gingy. What? Oh, uh, Mrs. Gingy, can you move over so we can walk through the sidewalk? I got you, fam. Thank you. Let's head out to those coordinations. Look, that's legitimately my woods right back there behind us. And that's like where the coordinations we're leading at is right in the entrance of the woods. I wonder if we're going to find anything out there. I don't know, guys, but that's where the note that was inside of the Happy Meal last night wanted us to go. So let's go ahead and start heading over there. So I started running towards the woods. I jumped off this log and then I did some epic parkour the ground. Then I continued sprinting as if I was David Goggins or something what? looking like an absolute adventurer. All right, my, my dudes. dudes. We have now made it to the wood. And this is right around the area where the coordinations were at. So we need to make sure we're keeping a very good bird's eye view out for whatever it is that we were supposed to find. So guys, here's an entrance right here. And as you can see, there's literally like a fence that runs through here, but it's broken right now. So let's cross over this and we can get into the wood and search around for whatever that coordinations were that. So we went over the fence down into the creek. Guys, me and random stuff are back here now. And I don't really know what we're looking for. But guys, something's gotta stand out. There has to be something here. Oh, I hear something huge in the weeds. Oh, snap. Guys, let's go search up here real quick. So I crawled through the thick brush to get into the woods. Okay, I'm not seeing anything right now. It just looks like a bunch of woods and stuff. And look, there's tons of sticker bushes out here. Like, these things are really spiky. And this would hurt super bad if I got sucked by one of them. And, like, literally all of these are sticker bushes. But you know what, guys? I got no fear. I'm literally going to walk through all of these sticker bushes. What random stuff? Yeah, look at this. Oh, guys. Guys, random stuff wants to show me something. All right, I'm coming, random stuff. Tork, look at that tunnel right down there. Wait, there's a tunnel? Oh my gosh, look at that tunnel right in front of us. Where's up here? Guys, that tunnel looks super cool. Let's go check it out. It's a good thing my super beautiful, luxurious cowboy boots are waterproof. Like, watch this. <laughs> Oh, I'm not even wet. Let's go, baby. Yeah, baby. So I followed the creek until I made it to the bridge. This is a huge bridge. And this is actually like right underneath the road. Wait, guys, listen. Echo. Echo. That was a lot of echoing. Wow. Let's explore this place. And guys, look, I can literally like stand up in this. It's so tall. Can you say what? Come here. Look, what the heck is this? It looks like there's some sort of bad pack down here. This might be what we were supposed to find. Like, this is right around the coordinations. And it feels pretty heavy. Like, there's definitely something inside of it. Oh, my goodness. I gotta open this thing up to see what's inside. This must have been what the Happy Meal wanted us to find with those coordinations. Without wasting any more time, I'm gonna open this up and make sure you guys go down below right now and absolutely demolish that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up button as well. And while you're down there, let us know in the comments down below what you guys think is inside of this bag. Backpack. And we're gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up. Oh, this is super crazy. I'm unzipping oh it. So I attempted to open up the backpack. The zipper doesn't feel like it's been open for like 300 years. What? I gotta use my super manly masculine muscles. <laughs> Oh, I got it. No way. Let's see what's in here. What the heck? Guys, what is this? Oh my goodness. Guys, no way. It's literally Bingo. It's all tied up right now. I wonder who did this to Bingo and they literally locked him inside of this backpack. You gotta get this off of him. Bingo, I'll save you. Ugh, even her legs are tied up. Ugh, don't worry, Bingo. I'm gonna save you from whoever did this. And I'll get revenge. All right, Bingo. Ugh, are you okay? She's literally not saying anything. No. It's almost like she's a stuffed animal or something. Bingo, you gotta say something. Are you okay? Like, who did this to you? It was Bluey. It was Bluey? Bingo literally just 
said that it was Bluey. No. Like, apparently, Bluey's the one that literally did this to Bingo. Why would Bluey do this to her own sister? Oh, my gosh. Bingo, I will keep you safe and protected, protected. okay, buddy? All right, let's see what else is inside of this backpack. So, inside of this backpack, we got... Wait a minute. Guys, it looks like we literally got a piece of paper. And it looks like it says something on it. Like, it's some sort of note or something. Oh, this is super insane, my dudes. Let's go ahead and read it to see what it says on it. This note that we just found says, You're next, Torg, from Bluey. <laughs> and then it has a super creepy picture of Bluey. And it looks like Curse Bluey. No way. Guys, I'm super scared. Look, apparently, according to this note that we just found inside of the backpack. With Bingo. Bluey is literally saying that I'm going to be next. And guys, I'm an absolute Bingo. genius. So I understand this with 100% certainty. What? This thing is literally saying that I'm going to end up like Bingo just was inside of that backpack all tied up. Yeah. It looks like Bluey's going to like try to capture me or something. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh. Guys, I don't know, but I need to get out of my woods right now because Bluey was definitely underneath this bridge at some point. Like he must have literally been the one that left Bingo tied up down here. Yeah. We're going to get out of here before Bingo finds us and absolutely See? demolishes us. So I started making the journey through the woods back up to my yard. I jumped through all of these branches and made it back. All right, guys, I'm getting out of this woods right now, and I'm gonna run back up to my house, which is right behind us, before I end up like Bingo. What's up, my dudes? I just got this pet dinosaur right here from Jurassic World, and I'm gonna ride him around right now like a horse. <laughs> oh, I'm super excited. A uh, dinosaur, are you super excited? Oh, yeah. Well, then let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, I'm riding it right now. Oh, this thing's got a lot of power. Oh, it's so fast. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Well, guys, this thing is so much fun. Say what? See this coming at me. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. Dinosaur, hurry up. Oh, my goodness. We're going to shut the barn door. Santa, he's stopping the door. Oh, Santa's getting inside. Santa, where did you come from and what do you want from me? I have this present here for you. Oh, you got a present for me? Yeah, here, take the bag. Oh, uh, oh, thank you, Santa. Santa, where are you going and what, what's in the bag? Oh, my gosh. Santa just left. And he literally just gave me a present. Wait, like, guys, it's literally just a few days after Christmas and he must have had a Christmas present left over for me. And it's literally inside of this bag. Wow. All right, my dudes, I got the bag right here that Santa Claus just gave me that apparently has a present inside. Side. Guys, I need you to go smash the thumbs up button right now. And while you're down there, go in the comment section down below. Okay. And let me know what you guys think is inside of this bag. Like, what do you guys think Santa got for me for Christmas? I don't know. Without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I'm going to use my manly masculine muscles to open up Santa's bag. So I attempted to open up Santa Claus' bag, but it wasn't opening. And then all of a sudden, it punched me in the face and it knocked me out. Oh, my gosh. I just got I absolutely demolished by Santa's bag no. like it literally beat me up. What? No. No. Wait a minute. You guys know what? I'm an absolute genius. I legitimately have a T-Rex right here that can open up the bag for me. A uh, T-Rex? Are you willing to open this? Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. I got you, fam. So it's the T-Rex versus Santa Claus's bag. Who will win? We are about to find out. So the T-Rex kept on biting Santa's bag over and over again, and it opened it up. No way! T-Rex, you did it! Oh, thank you so much, guys. I can't believe this. The T-Rex literally opened up the bag. Let's take a gander inside to see what's in here. I'm going to stick my hand inside of the bag, and there's definitely something in here. Let me go ahead and pull it out to see what it is. No, say what? Oh, my gosh. Guys, look, it's literally blue. Like Bluey from the TV show. And Santa literally just gifted him to me. No way, guys. And I think there was something else in the bag, too. There is. Oh, my goodness. It's some sort of piece of paper or something. And it looks like it's some sort of note or something. But it's all tore up. Like, somebody absolutely demolished it. It must have been the T-Rex whenever he opened it. Right, well, let's go ahead and try to read it. It says, I got Bluey for you. Signed Santa. Oh my goodness. Guys, apparently, according to this 
know right here, Santa is legitimately Wait, saying that he got Bluey for me. And this is super creepy. Because guys, if you don't remember in my last video, we literally found like a backpack under a bridge. And inside of that backpack, it was literally Bingo. And he was like all tied up and stuff. And Bingo literally said that Bluey was the one that tied him all up. So I think Santa is legitimately saying that he got Bluey for us since we were going to try to capture Bluey because he absolutely demolished Bingo and we had to get revenge. But guys, this is legitimately just a stuffed animal. Like, this isn't even the real Bluey. Why would Santa give me a fake Bluey and say that it's the real one? This makes me so mad. Like, it doesn't even make any sense, guys. Maybe Santa is pranking me or something. Like, I don't want this stupid Bluey stuffed animal. I want to actually capture the real Bluey. Stupid stuffed animal. Oh, my goodness. No way. That stuffed animal legitimately just turned into the real Bluey. Like, as soon as he hit the ground, he turned into the real Bluey. And he's literally holding a weapon right now. Bluey, what do you want from me? I'm going to tie you up like I did to Bingo. You're going to tie me up just like you did to Bingo? Oh, my gosh. Guys, we can't let this happen. Bluey, you're going to leave me alone. No, I won't. You're not going to leave me alone? No. Do you want to you found this random leaf flower. It was right below me. Bluey, if you're going to hold a weapon, then I'm going to absolutely demolish you with this leaf blower. So I started up the leaf blower and I started approaching Bluey. And once I was in front of him, I pulled out the leaf blower and then I started blowing him with it. And he started spinning and then he flew into the air. And he disappeared. No way. Guys, I just absolutely demolished Bluey using this leaf blower. But guys, look. I literally don't see Bluey anywhere. Like, he flew that way. And he's literally gone. Guys, I gotta hurry up and run inside before he comes back with that knife. And absolutely demolishes me. Let's run inside. Come on. A few moments later. Oh, outside once again. Like, I literally just went inside and I got random stuff so he could film me. Uh, random stuff? Say hello to everybody watching. Hello, my dudes. My dude. Oh, hello, man. No, I'm a little scared being outside again because as you guys saw, Bluey was holding a weapon earlier and I don't want him to try to use it on me. But it's a good thing I still got the beautiful, luxurious leaf blower right here to keep me safe and protected. Protect. No, guys, as you know, I'm an absolute genius. I literally studied at Harvard University and I literally have a drone right here that's worth $1 billion. So we're gonna fly up into the air and try to figure out where Bluey flew to whenever I hit him with the leaf blower. So let's take this drone up into the sky and keep a good bird's eye view out for Bluey. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, wow, I'm sending the drone up right now. So using my professional drone flying skills, I flew the drone outside. Oh, my God. All right, go find him, Mr. Drone. So there's the ginormous barn that we were in earlier whenever we saw Bluey and stuff and that Santa chased us into. Like I said, let's just make sure we're keeping a very good bird's eye view. And we got to hurry like it's starting to kind of get dark outside no. but i'm gonna spin around really quick and look around our entire property and i'm not seeing any signs of bluey anywhere so let's head over to the spot where we actually blew bluey with the leaf blower and see if he's over there somewhere so this is right where we blew him with the leaf blower at so he must be over here somewhere all right so i'm getting closer to the field <gasps> say what no way look at that right there up in that tree that literally looks like it's bluey and he's stuck up in that tree tree right now when i blew him with the leaf blower like look the leaf blower is literally like right over here like that's where we blew him at and it must have blew him all the way over there into the tree and now bluey is literally stuck in the tree right now and it looks like he's like passed out or something like he's like laying sideways on one of the tree branches or maybe he's asleep guys i don't know but he's just sitting there and this is just right out here in our backyard i think i'm gonna run over there right now while bluey is passed out and i'm gonna try to capture him again before he can 
pull out another weapon. You tore up and head over there, my dudes. Come on. So I started running as fast as I possibly could, just like the Flash. Oh, oh man. There's a lot of running. Oh, guys, if you haven't smashed that thumbs up button yet, then please go do it. Oh, we was just right up there. Oh, my gosh. No way. I don't see Bluey up there anymore. No. Like, he was up there in the tree branches like you guys just saw on the drone. And now he's literally gone. No. Ground or something. Let's go check it out. Oh my gosh. Look at all this junk, guys. We gotta be really careful going through here. Ram, so come on. Okay. So we walk through all the junk. What the heck? Guys, look. Random stuff literally wore sandals out here. <laughs> what are those? are you stupid? <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys. He's literally gone and I don't see him on the ground either. Whoa. But he was literally up in that tree. Like I said, you guys just saw on the drone. <gasps> Say what? What is this? That looks like something's hanging off the tree right there. What is that? I think it's like a piece of paper. Let me go ahead and grab it. So I grabbed the thing oh. in the tree. Oh, oh there's so many... Yeah. But say what? My dudes, My look! It's legitimately some sort of note or something! Yeah. Let's go ahead and read it to see what it says on it! Yeah. Alright, this note that we just found in that tree literally says, You'll never get me now! <laughs> oh my goodness! Guys, apparently Bluey, like this person right here up on the screen, the one that we just leaf lowered into this tree, he's literally saying that we're never gonna get him again! Yeah. Like we literally just had him a second ago because Santa gave him to us! Was. And then unfortunately he escaped because I thought he was just a stuffed animal, but he was just disguised as one. And when I threw him on the ground, he turned into the real Bluey. And now he literally got away, guys. Dang it! Oh, hello there. My dudes, you might be wondering why I'm hiding down in this random hole in the ground right now, and that's because I'm super scared. Like I'm literally hiding from somebody because I don't want them to find me and absolutely demolish me. Now you guys might be wondering why I'm so scared and what happened to me just 2.3.3925 seconds ago. And we're gonna have a flashback real quick, and we're gonna go back in time. And as you can see, I was just sitting on my couch. Watching my most favorite TV show ever, Bluey. So I was just casually watching Bluey on my TV when all of a sudden I heard a super loud noise. So I was freaking out and it sounded like the noise came from outside my house. So I pulled out my phone and I checked my security cameras and I couldn't believe what I was looking at. Like it was super crazy. So my dudes, I'm gonna go ahead and put the video up on the screen that I saw right here. And as you can see, this is literally my security footage, and all of a sudden, Bluey, like literally the person I was watching on the TV, was in my yard, and he ran up to my security camera, and he was holding a weapon, and then he started firing the weapon at my security camera, and it broke the camera, and after he broke the camera, he literally ran away, and he disappeared into my yard somewhere, so that's right, guys, I am so mad. Apparently, Bluey, like this person right here up on the screen, is legitimately the loud noise that I heard, and it was him firing that weapon at my security camera, and he broke it. No. That security camera cost me five billion dollars. No. So go smash the thumbs up button right now because one like equals one prayer. So hopefully, I can get another one. Another one. Now, guys, I don't know why Bluey doesn't like me or my security camera, but I have a genius idea. Since he literally ran back out into my yard, it looked like, I'm going to look around for him and see why he fired a weapon at my security camera. And hopefully we can, like, become friends or something. Because Bluey is, like, literally my favorite TV show ever. Wow. But my dudes, I have another idea. I'm legitimately gonna use my drone to look around for Bluey because I'm literally way too lazy to walk around this entire backyard. Like, that's too much labor. You stupid. So let's fly this drone up into the air and look around for Bluey. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, we're sending the drone up into the sky and wait a minute. Oh, uh, guys, we literally have a random spectator. Oh, uh, Mrs. Gingy, do you want to watch the drone fly up into the sky? 
Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, just stay right there. I don't want you to get hurt by the drone. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to fly the drone up in the air. So I flew the drone up into the sky. Whoa, look, she's super confused. Huh? All right, so we're directly above us right now. And let's start looking around for Bluey. So I'm going to just search around the backyard real quick. I don't see any signs of Bluey out here by all these barns. But guys, we know that he was somewhere out here, like towards our front yard, where he hit the security camera at. So that was just right over here, right up by the house. So let's look around this area to see if we can find Bluey, because that makes the most sense where he would be at right now. Now. All right, so we're flying over all these trees, and we are approximately 357.39 kilometers up in the sky. So we can see a lot of stuff, guys, but I'm not seeing any signs of Bluey. We're over by the road now. I'm going to get a little bit lower so we can get a better bird's eye view. Oh, my goodness. That's literally Elon Musk, and he's going down my road right now. I wonder if Elon Musk will give me a free Tesla. We got to go out there and ask him. Say what? Elon Musk is gone. Like, I don't see him anywhere. Anywhere. No, I'm not gonna get my Tesla. No. No. All right, but guys, we cannot give up. We gotta continue looking around for Bluey. Maybe he like ran to this part of the yard over here. Let's go check it out. Let him cut. So I continued searching. Maybe he like went back into this woods or something. Let's look around it really good to see. Say what? No way, guys. Look, that's literally Bluey right there. And he's running around like by the woods over there. Guys, what's he doing? Weapon too! Oh my gosh, guys! And say what? He just ran into the woods and I don't even see him anymore! Oh, yeah. he's literally back in the woods right uh, now! Guys, I gotta see if I can see him! He literally just ran in right there! But look! There's too many trees! Like, I can't see if he's in there or not! Oh my goodness! I'm gonna try to get a little bit higher to get a better bird's eye view! Alright, I'm flying super high up into the sky right now! I can't see Bluey because, again, there's too many trees! Yeah. You know what? We gotta run over there right now! And we gotta go in the woods and try to find Bluey! <laughs> Come on, let's go! So I ran over to the pool barn and I opened the door using my muscle! It's a good thing I got the one million dollar four-wheeler! I'm gonna take it over there! So that way I don't have to walk all those steps! So I started up the ATV, I backed it up and I pulled it out of the barn and started driving all the way over towards the woods! And I kept on driving until I got there! Alright guys, we have now made it to the woods! Oh, guys, this literally looks like it's a trail where Bluey ran through back into the woods! Alright guys, I am not scared because I got these manly masculine muscles! Like, look how big they are! Wow. So I'm gonna head back there right now, even if Bluey still has a weapon! And guys, I really hope that we can save our friendship! Go down below and absolutely demolish that subscribe button and ding the notification bell as well if you guys haven't already! To wish me luck that I can actually restore our friendship and I can become good friends with Bluey. But I'm gonna go ahead and head back here. I've never been back in this woods before, guys. Oh my gosh, look at this creek. So I carefully crossed the river. I made it. Brandon, so it's your turn. Come on. Oh, I'm Torg. I'm literally in sandals right now. Like, I cannot cross the creek. Say what? What kind of idiot wears sandals out on a 32 degree day? What? Guys, Brandon, stuff literally can't come back here because he's such an idiot. Like, he literally wore sandals when it's, like, negative 30 degrees outside. I guess I'm gonna leave random stuff behind no. and I'm gonna go into the woods all by myself. And, like, bear grills, I will survive the wilderness. What? All right, my dude, my so dudes. random stuff is now gone. Oh and I'm crossing God. the creek for a second time now. But here we are, back in the woods. And like I said, I've never actually explored back here before. So this is my first time ever seeing it right here. But guys, we gotta make sure we're keeping a very good bird's eye view out for Bluey because he definitely is back here like you guys saw it. Like he literally just ran back here like two seconds ago. But oh my goodness. Guys, look. These are like literally all thorn bushes out here. Like look at those thorns. Those things look super dangerous. So I'm not sure which way Bluey went, but I don't think he could have ran through all these bushes. Oh, it looks like there's a little opening right here. I think I can crawl through all this. Let's follow this little trail. So using my professional Boy Scout skills, what? I made it over all these trees and crawled through the path. <gasps> Say what? Guys, there's something on that tree right there. Like, it looks like it's a piece of paper or something. Why would there be a random piece of paper on a tree out in the middle of a woods? I don't know, guys. Maybe Bluey left it there. Let's go check it out. Oh, I gotta go past some thorn bushes. 
<gasps> guys, I made it to the other side. And say what? Guys, look. It's literally some sort of note or something. Oh I wonder if Bluey is the one that left this here. Like, maybe he saw us following him or something. But let's go ahead and read this note that we randomly just found back in this woods to see what it says on it. All right, this note says, Torg, can I be your pet dog? What? Signed, Bluey. Oh, my goodness. Guys, what the heck? Bluey literally just shot my security camera. And now he's asking me if he can be my pet dog. Oh, uh, guys, this doesn't make any sense. Like, why would Bluey want to be my pet dog? Maybe it's because I just moved out on this random farm. And now he wants to be a farm dog. <laughs> my dude, there I was just casually sleeping in my brand new pile of sticks. What? When all of a sudden I saw that there was a chicken watching me. So I jumped up out of my brand new bed. And I confronted the chicken. Uh, chicken, what do you want from me? Give me all your money. I don't have any money. Then I'm gonna beat you up. So the chicken kept on chasing me around my backyard and he was trying to attack me. That's when all of a sudden I saw this opportunity to jump through this window, so I jumped through it and got away. Hey, yo, what's up, my dudes? I can't believe this. A crazy chicken just chased me. Like, unfortunately, I was just out there enjoying my beauty sleep. And then that chicken demanded that I gave him my money. But unfortunately, I don't even have any money. Because I spent it all on those pile of sticks. So that way I could have a new bed. You stupid. You know what, guys? I'm not scared of a little chicken because I'm not a chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna fight this chicken and absolutely demolish him. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> This is amazing! I feel incredible! Yes, 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 yes! I can win! I feel great! Alright, my dudes, that chicken thinks he can beg for money and try to beat me up? Oh, he thought wrong! I don't give up very easily! So I brought out the dinosaur from my last YouTube video. Uh, say hello to everybody, dinosaur! And we're gonna use the nostrils of the T-Rex to sniff on the ground to locate the chicken. And then we can use the dinosaur as a weapon to help us. Oh yeah, and also guys, I'm literally Batman. I'm Batman. So I have infinite moves like I'm literally a ninja. So this chicken doesn't stand a chance at all against me, Batman, and this T-Rex. So let's locate this chicken right now. Do it. All right, dinosaurs, start sniffing. Okay. Oh, he's going this way. More dinosaurs, let me to the chicken. Wait, he just went to the chicken coop. Dinosaur, I literally own chickens. And I don't think that was a chicken that I owned. All right, he's going a different way now. Oh, there's a chicken. But guys, that's not the chicken that chased me earlier. Let's keep on searching. He's smelling again. It's another, another one. one. But that's still not the chicken. Oh, he's getting a big whiff of something. Oh, he's going, oh, he's going crazy. Oh my goodness! Guys, that kind of looks like the chicken that chased me! Chicken, come out and find me like a man! He's coming! I'm going for him! Oh, oh, oh. No way! He's too fast! Unfortunately, guys, even though I'm literally Batman, I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch that chicken because he's too quick! <gasps> Say what?! Using my good bird's eye view, I can literally see another chicken out there! Like it's out there in my front yard! Looks like that's actually the one that was chasing me earlier. Oh, let's go absolutely demolish him. Random stuff, hurry, help me. So me and random stuff ran over to the crazy chicken. No way. Guys, the chicken's right there. Chicken, you're not getting any money from me. Feel my wrath. So I ran at the chicken and I hit him with the T-Ray. Oh my gosh. Guys, the chicken literally just disappeared. Like he literally flew into outer space or something. Random stuff, we did it. Let's go, baby. Yeah, baby! I gotta go inside and eat me some chicken after all the energy I just used. Me too! So as I was super exhausted, I was walking up to my house when I saw something! Say what? Oh my gosh, guys, I was just walking into my house and look, Bluey is right there! Uh, Bluey? What are you doing in my house right now, buddy? I'm gonna open up the door and I'm gonna capture Bluey! Go smash the thumbs up button right now to wish me luck! Alright, guys, I think I'm actually gonna capture Bluey! Bluey! Say what? The door's locked! Bluey literally just locked me out of my own house! Bluey, let us in right now! Nope! He's not gonna let us in, guys! 
face. This makes me so mad. Hey, wait a minute, guys, I'm an absolute genius. I don't think Bluey knows it yet, but that window that I climbed through earlier is still unlocked. So I'm gonna go climb through that window and get back inside of my house. Come on. So I ran back to the window. All right, here we go. Then I opened it up, threw the T-Rex inside, and jumped through the window myself. Yes, I made it. First try! First try. Uh, random stuff, do you want to climb through the window? No way, Torg, I'm not fitting through this window. What? You're just gonna have to go attack Bluey by yourself. What the hey? Random stuff just left me. I'm gonna have to go search around my house all by myself. Oh, no, no, no. Hopefully Bluey doesn't attack me. All right, here we go. Guys, if you haven't absolutely demolished that subscribe button yet, then go do it because this is super creepy. I'm approaching the room that Bluey was just inside of. Of. He was just on the other side of this door inside of this porch. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna try to capture him. So I went into the room. <laughs> no! He's gone! Oh, I don't see Bluey God. anywhere. No. He literally just disappeared. Oh. Look at him, guys. So he was sitting in this chair and he literally locked this door and he must have heard me like climb through the window or something. And then he literally ran away. Just like the chicken did. Oh. No! No way, guys. I can't believe this. We were this close to capturing Bluey. Wait a minute. I just got a text message. And it's from Bluey. Oh, and Bluey literally said, I told you that you would never capture me again. Oh, my goodness. Guys, Bluey is literally saying that he told us that we would never capture him again. Like, he literally told me that in our last YouTube video. So now Bluey is literally just trying to make me mad. Like, he literally locked me out of my door and broke into my house. And he saying that I'm never gonna be able to capture him. But you know what, guys? I'm not gonna give up that easily. I'm literally a professional trapper. What? So we're gonna try to capture Bluey once again. I'm gonna literally make a trap right now. Oh, snap. Two hours later. All right, guys, it's literally the next day. And a bunch of super crazy stuff has been happening. I was literally like in my workshop building the most epic trap ever to capture Bluey with. And it literally took me all night. But something else super crazy also happened. Oh, no. When I was working last night, it literally started to snow. Like, guys, look, we literally have a bunch of snow now. Like, all this snow literally just happened overnight. Wow. wow. But now it's time to show you guys my super genius trap that I built. And this thing right here is my trap. Oh, uh, yes, guys, this box is literally the trap that I made last Last night. It's super complicated. You stupid. But guys, I'm literally gonna set the trap inside of this room that Bluey was inside of earlier. I'm gonna take this metal rod and prop the box up with it. And then I have a toy of bingo right here. And I'm gonna put the toy underneath the box. So now hopefully what happens is, is that Bluey comes through the door trying to get back inside of my house. And he sees bingo underneath there and he goes to pick up bingo and whenever he does, all he has to do is barely touch this metal pole and the box will literally fall on top of him and it will trap him inside. And then we will have successfully captured Bluey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, my dudes, so the trap is now fully set up again. And I'm just gonna prop this door open. And uh, I'm gonna go back inside. And play Fortnite. What? And we'll check on the trap later. So peace out until then. <laughs> Two hours later. Hey, oh, guys, something super crazy just happened. I was literally just sitting at my desk playing Fortnite. And I'm like a professional player. What? But somehow I literally died. No. But after I died, I literally heard a super loud noise. So I started freaking out because I didn't know what it was. So now I need to search around and keep a good bird's eye view out for this noise. To figure out what I just heard. What was that, guys? It was something super loud. Say what? Guys, look right behind this window. It looks like our door is literally shut and that's the trap on the ground right there. And it's falling over. Maybe we captured something. Maybe it's Bluey. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get out there and check on it right now. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. I gotta get out of here, guys. Oh my goodness. Guys, like I said, look, the door's literally shut and the trap is falling over. Wow. Here goes nothing, guys. I'm gonna lift up the box. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Guys, it's literally blue. I just found him inside of our trap. Like, we literally just 
captured him in real life. Even though he said that we wouldn't be able to. And say what? Guys, I literally don't see the toy of bingo anywhere. Blue, we must have ate it. Yeah. Oh, snap. My dude, I something did. crazy is about to happen. It opened up! No way! Guys, that didn't open up Bluey! No! No! But say what? Guys, that box is legitimately stuck underneath my four-wheeler! So I tried punching the box out! I gotta get it out! Yes, we successfully got the stupid box out from underneath my four-wheeler! Let's go, baby! to a brand new video. Now, guys, I don't know if you remember, but in my last YouTube video, like this one right here up on the screen, we literally captured Bluey, like this person right here in real life by using a super complicated, extremely epic trap. And you guys might be wondering why I'm trying to open up Bluey right now after we captured him. And the reason is because, if you don't remember, whenever we set up that trap, we literally used a toy of Bingo! <laughs> and if you don't know, Bingo is literally Bluey's sister! Wow. But we used that toy of Bingo to lure Bluey into the trap, and whenever we found Bluey in the trap, the toy of Bingo was literally gone! So this makes me so mad! Wow. Like, Bluey literally must have ate the toy of Bingo! What? So it's probably in her stomach! And that Bingo toy is literally worth like one trillion pounds! So go smash the thumbs up button right now to wish me luck, guys, so I can hopefully find the toy inside of Bluey. So that's why I was just absolutely demolishing the box and Bluey with that four-wheeler. Because I'm trying to open up Bluey to get inside of him to retrieve the bingo toy. And see what else Bluey has been eating recently. So that's our mission right now if we choose to accept is to open up Bluey to see what's inside of him. Let's do this. Let's do this. Bluey, open up! So I started throwing around and kicking Bluey all over the place, and then I picked up this hay bale right here, and I threw it on top of him. No way, that hay bale had to have opened him up! So I checked Bluey to see if he was open. No way! He still isn't open! I have a genius idea, my dudes! Bluey will be opened up after this 110.3 thousand percent! Follow me! So I walked over here to this massive thing. I'm going to put Bluey inside of this grill and light it on fire. This has to open him up. Here we go. I'm putting him inside just like that. And then I'm going to press the button. Here we go. Oh, there's a lot of flames. All right. The door is now dropped down and Bluey's inside in the fire. This has to open up Bluey. Like there's literally 0% chance that he is not opened up after this. All right. I'm going to turn off the flames. I'm going to open it up. And say what? He doesn't even move. No. How did that fire not open up Bluey, my dudes? This makes me so mad again. So I threw Bluey again and I started throwing him around everywhere on the ground until I ran over to this cage. Say what? No way. I literally have a caged up animal right here. Like as you can see, I literally have the T-Rex inside of this cage. And I have him inside of a cage because he's super dangerous. And look, he's literally trying to bite through the cage right now. Oh, this dinosaur's 100% going to be able to open up Bluey. Let's let him out of the cage and let him absolutely demolish her. All right, I'm going to set Bluey down right there. And I'm going to go grab the dino. Oh Wish me luck. Guys, and absolutely demolish that subscribe button because I'm literally risking my life for you guys right now. <laughs> I'm going in with the pterodactyl. Oh, I'm in the cage with him. Dinosaur, be easy. Be careful. Oh, oh my gosh, he's going crazy. He's ready to attack Bluey. Oh my gosh, attack her. So the dinosaur started bashing Bluey's face in and tearing her to shreds. Get back in the cage, you animal. 
Oh my gosh, guys, that was crazy. That dinosaur just did a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage. Guys, this 100% had to have opened up Bluey. My Bluey literally stood no chance against that dinosaur. Let me observe Bluey to see if she's opened up now. So I observed Bluey once again and I wasn't <laughs> seeing anything. <laughs> Bluey still is it opened. Oh. How did the dinosaur not open her up? You know what, guys? I'm just gonna have to use my former strength to absolutely demolish Bluey and open her up. Bluey, there's no way you will be able to withstand my power. <laughs> So using my grip strength, I attempted to rip apart Bluey. Open! But he still wasn't opening, so I started kicking him around like a soccer ball, and then I John cena at him! Oh, he's blinding me! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my arm! Guys, oh my gosh! This is the worst injury I've ever had in my life! I can't believe it! Bluey literally just bit me! It's almost like she's an animal! Something. No way, guys. I gotta go to the hospital. Oh. As soon as I get back, I will do whatever it takes to open up Bluey so we can save my bingo toy. Yes. Um, I'll see you guys whenever I get back from the hospital. Peace out until then. Oh. The next day. <laughs> <laughs> Dudes, as you can see right behind me in that window, it is legitimately dark right now. Like it's literally the super creepy hour. Like you guessed it, it's literally 3 a.m. But unfortunately, as you guys can see, I just got back from the hospital and they literally used this super extremely high-tech arm wrap to wrap my wound up. That bluey gave me. So now, guys, no matter what, we are definitely gonna be opening up blue. Let's do this. Let's do this. So we are now in the kitchen with Bluey. And it's time that I use my super genius idea. That will 100% open up Bluey no matter what this time. My super genius idea. And that is to use this bad boy right here. Oh my goodness, guys. This is the most dangerous thing I've ever held in my hand in my life. Wait, watch this, guys. searching around. So I searched around until I found something. Wait a minute. Guys, no way. I literally have something in my hands. No way. It's literally Bingo the toy. Like the one that Bluey ate that was inside of the trap. We literally just rescued the toy. Let's go, baby. Yeah, baby. Here we go, guys. Oh, wait a minute. I already feel something else and this thing feels huge. I'm gonna pull it out. Oh my gosh! This blue bottle of liquid was just inside of Bluey! I wonder if it's some sort of potion or something! Let's try to smell it! Oh, that smells super good, guys! Here, you guys smell it for yourselves! Wow, it smells so good! I'm gonna try to take a little drink out of this hole right here! What the heck? This isn't a potion. It's literally soap. No! A few moments later. All right, I'm going back inside, and I'm literally working my way up towards Bluey's brain right now. Oh, my gosh, I literally feel something. This might be Bluey's brain. So I'm going to pull it out. Oh, my gosh. It's literally some sort of piece of paper or something. This was literally just inside of Bluey with everything else. And it's some sort of note or something. No way. Let's go ahead and read it to see what it says on it. It says, I'm going to eat you, Torg. Oh my goodness, Bluey is legitimately saying that she's gonna eat me. Bluey, you would never do that, would you? Oh, oh my god, she's literally biting my arm right now. She's literally trying to eat me. Oh my gosh. Guys, this has been super crazy. Bluey literally just tried to eat me in real life once again. And she literally bit the same on the 
gosh, she bit earlier. No! But this is super crazy, guys. I got her locked up in the freezer right now. Not gonna be anywhere close to Bluey. And tell you guys, go in the comment section down below right now and let me know what you guys think we should do with her. Like, she's literally super dangerous. And I don't know why she would try to attack me. It's not like I would ever hurt her or anything. What? I'm literally gonna go to bed right now and I need you guys to go and absolutely demolish that subscribe button and ding the notification bell as well. So that way you guys do not miss any of our future YouTube videos and you guys don't miss what happens next. And we will see you next time on a brand new video with TURG, aka that one random ginger. Peace out. Oh!